Hi dears, welcome back to my video. Today we are going to study coordination and subordination in English grammar and usage. Coordination and subordination are two ways of combining sentences. Coordination, subordination in the world. Sentence in Tamil is the two methods. That is coordinating conjunction to combine the Subordinating conjunction of each gonde combine chain the material idiom and a video number body can work on the Firstly, let us study what is coordination. Coordination means combining two sentences or ideas that are of equal value. Coordination in the way another equal rank in the equal importance in the rand sentence like combine chain the idiom and coordination in the way another. Look at the example. I opened the door for someone called me. Here, for is a, an example of coordinating conjunction. Here, for combining the two sentences, I opened the door and someone called me. Look at the sentences in the bracket. I opened the door, someone called me. These two sentences are independent clauses. There is no any support of any other sentence for completing its meaning. I opened the door. Its meaning is complete. Someone called me. Its meaning is also complete. Here, for is a coordinating, is a coordinating conjunction. Then, look at the subordinating, subordination. Subordination means... Combining two sentences or ideas in a way that makes one more important than the other. Subordination is one sentence. Two sentences. One sentence is match up with the other. One is important. This is the sentence. This sentence is the sentence. Independent clause, but on the dependent clause, my recum. Apo e dependent clause in the meaning complete ava medit. Independent clause in the avisham rude unde. For example, when I was young, its meaning is incomplete. When I was young, because it uh, the idea is incomplete here. Meaning is perfect, but idea is incomplete here. Look at the sentence again. When I was young, I used to play cricket. Here, when is a subordinating conjunction. Example. Look at the sentence again. When I was young, I used to play cricket. These two sentences gives the complete idea of Here, I used to play cricket is an independent clause. When I was young is a dependent clause. Now look at the conjunction part. Firstly, there are two types of conjunction. Coordinating conjunction and subordinating conjunction. Firstly, let us study what is coordinating conjunctions. Here, coordinating conjunctions are labeled boys fan for an easy understanding. B for but, or, O for or, Y for yet, S for so, F for for, A for and, N for nor. Look at the example of coordinating conjunction. Teacher came and started the lesson. And is a coordinating conjunction. The next example, I don't study nor does he. And I, I want to say one more example that is not mentioned here. He studied well but failed in the examination. These conjunctions are combining the two sentences of equal rank and importance. The next one, subordinating conjunction. There are some of subordinating conjunctions that are given below. Although after, before, because, how, if, once, since, so that, until, unless, when, etc. Look at the example. 
unless you study you will fail here unless you study is a dependent clause you will fail is an independent clause so in this sentence there is one dependent clause and independent clause first sentence is dependent clause second sentence is independent clause by the help of the second sentence the first sentence meaning of idea is complete i want to tell you one more example since he came she could meet him and one more example before you come you should call me here before you come is an is a dependent clause okay thank you